We continue today with the workbook, What is the Christ? and Workbook Lesson 271. What is the Christ? Christ is God's Son as He created Him. He is the Self we share, uniting us with one another and with God as well. He is the thought which still abides within the mind that is his source. He has not left his holy home, nor lost the innocence in which he was created. He abides unchanged forever in the mind of God. Christ is the link that keeps you one with God and guarantees that separation is no more than an illusion of despair, for hope forever will abide in him. Your mind is part of His, and His of yours. He is the part in which God's answer lies, where all decisions are already made, and dreams are over. He remains untouched by anything the body's eyes perceive, for though in Him is His Father placed the means for your salvation, yet does He remain the self who, like his father, knows no sin. Home of the Holy Spirit, and at home in God alone, does Christ remain at peace within the heaven of your holy mind? This is the only part of you that has reality and truth. The rest is dreams. Yet will these dreams be given unto Christ, to fade before His glory and reveal your Holy Self, the Christ, to you at last. The Holy Spirit reaches from the Christ in you to all your dreams, and bids them come to Him, to be translated into truth. He will exchange them for the final dream, which God appointed as the end of dreams. For when forgiveness rests upon the world, and peace has come to every son of God, what could there be to keep things separate, for what remains to see except Christ's face? And how long will this holy face be seen, when it is but it's the symbol that time for learning now is over, and the goal of the atonement has been reached at last? So therefore, let us seek to find Christ's face and look on nothing else. As we behold His glory, we will know we have no need of learning or perception or of time or anything except the Holy Self, the Christ whom God created as His Son. Lesson 271 Christ's is the vision I will use today. Each day, each hour, every instant, I am choosing what I want to look upon, the sounds I want to hear, the witnesses to what I want to be the truth for me. Today I choose to look upon what Christ would have me see, to listen to God's voice, and seek the witnesses to what is true in God's creation. In Christ's sight, the world and God's creation meet, and as they come together, all perception disappears. His kindly sight redeems the world from death, for nothing that he looks on but must live, remembering the Father and the Son, Creator and creation unified. Father, Christ's vision is the way to you. What he beholds invites your memory to be restored to me, and this I choose to be what I would look upon today. Amen.